Nick Bontis has joined us now to talk more about Black Friday and Cyber Monday numbers. So what do these numbers tell you, Nick? Really interesting statistics. Canadian really jumping on board, aren't they? Yeah, on the big lots front, I mean, obviously they came in in 2011, which was mm -hmm. a couple of years ago. The problem, of course, is that so did other American powerhouses, and that's why mm -hmm. they couldn't make any traction. They didn't become profitable. They ended up going back down to the U.S. They're going to concentrate on e-commerce only. And it's a big unfortunate thing is a lot of jobs will go down there with them. Yeah, no kidding. Let's talk a bit about the uh, holiday shopping season and the spending as well, too, because... Uh, on Black Friday, for example, like we just mentioned, you know, a uh, huge increase in uh, Canadian spending on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. What, is that, what does that say to you? So the cy Cyber Monday increase is actually quite shocking. I helped actually that percentage increase. Oh, yeah? I bought a couple of smartphone gel cases and tablet gel cases right. because internet shopping on that Monday, you can actually get some really good deals. But you know what the problem is? We're shopping really, really early now for Christmas holiday season. There's only so much money in everybody's budget to buy presents. That money that we're going to spend this past weekend is not going to be spent either for Christmas or Boxing Day. So I believe that there will be no net new money expended during this one month period. And that's really the key thing to look at, right, is the overall spend, mm -hmm. isn't it? Rather than the spend on a day here or a day there, that's it's really, right. we'll count it up in January sometime and see where the spending all works out, right? right? That's right. Speaking of uh, money, a lot of people are spending money. Those people generally have jobs. The latest employment figures say 21,600 jobs were created last month. However, the unemployment rate stayed the same. So how is Canada doing overall when it comes to job creation? So we're crazy, creating new jobs in Canada. The unemployment rate's staying the same, but where are these jobs being created? Mm -hmm. Turns out most of them are coming in Alberta right and actually in the private sector not the public sector they're actually trimming the unfortunate thing in Ontario though Nick is in the last month that I've been coming on this show with you yeah. we've announced 5,000 Blackberry we've announced 1,000 Heinz ketchup we've announced 1,000 Sears Canada that's a lot of thousands of jobs being lost here in Ontario so be careful when you see those numbers Canada's different than Ontario it's a bad time of year to lose your job too right, right. right before Christmas Nick thanks for your time enjoy right. your weekend and hopefully we'll see you back here right. next week